Hey guys. Oh, I wish it was brighter, but anyway, um, today I'm doing my, I think this is the third Disney princess look. Um, and today we got, I don't know how to say her name, is it Tian, Tiana? I think something out of Princess and the Frog. This is the picture I'm taking a reference from. So in her dress, she has like this beautiful, like really light dress. And then she, it has like some yellow underneath it. And then it has like a really pretty, like um, dark green, like flower on it. And I also want to incorporate her hair color, which is like, it's almost, I can't tell if her hair is black or if it's just like super dark brown, but we'll figure that out towards the end of the look because I'll do some liner, I think. Um, but yeah, let's get started. I think I have an idea. I'm hoping this one goes better than my bell one. So wish me luck. Okay, so I'm just taking my P. Louise base in room 01. I just used the Anastasia Dip Brow in medium brown. Um, and then I used the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in light tan and then the um, Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. My eyes are stained pink. Um, yesterday I used the Morphe and I still don't know how to say no, is it Sweetie? I'm just gonna call it Sweetie, okay? Um, the 24 Artist Pass palette. Artist Pass palette. Um, and my eyes are stained a little bit because I used pink, but that's fine. That's pretty, pretty stamp pink anyway, I think, so. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, like, lime green. It's like a really light green. This is the Chi Chi Pride palette, and I'm just going to put that everywhere. It's like the, um, the closest I can find so, to her, her dress colour, so hopefully it's okay. Um. I've got an idea in mind, so hopefully it works out. This shade is so light, isn't it? That's the only problem. I'm just going to mix a tiny bit of like the dark green next to it. In with the, the really light green, just to give a bit more pigment to it. Unfortunately, it's just like a really pastely colour, so it's hard to get it to show up a lot. So we just need to a little bit of something extra. Like, you can obviously definitely see the colour, but I just need it to be a bit more than what it is. Because we're going to be adding some other colours as well and usually when you add like some more pigmented colours it'll look a little bit like washed out and I really don't want that to happen. So, so yeah, I'm just taking a, the tiniest bit of the dark green and just placing that over the top and then that should help really like add some pigment and some colour. Let's do the other side. So this princess is out of the princess and the frog I'm pretty sure, another one I haven't seen. <laughs> um, but I really like the way she looks, she's so beautiful and I love her dress. I think if I was a princess, that's the dress that I would wear. Green is my favourite colour so. So I'm just taking a little bit of the dark green again and just running that over the top. To really add some colour to this. So I'm just working to make sure that this colour is like very even. I don't want it to look like darker in some spots than it is in others. I want to have like a, an even colour. So I'm just blending lots. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go off camera and cut my crease and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've cut my creases now. I just used the P. Louise base. 
Does anyone know how to get it to not crease? But it seems to crease pretty bad. But anyway, I'm going to take this shade here now and put that um, in the cut crease. It's like this really, really beautiful, like, oh, just look at it. I don't even know what kind of color it is. It's stunning though. This Chi Chi Pride palette has really come in handy lately. Okay, that looks so nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna mix like the green and the dark green together again and just blend that on the corner of this. Okay, now I think I'm going to line the cut crease with this dark green shade because um, I want this to be like, where is it gone? See how she has like the dark green flower. It's a little bit darker than the picture but there's no, this is the only like shade I can really get away with. So I'm just taking my... Um, NYX liner brush. So this one is the Jeffree Star um, shade, the Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Equality. Okay. And then I still can't decide if I should do black liner or if I should do like a really dark brown one so I have this here but I just don't know if that's dark enough for her hair but then I also feel like her hair isn't black it's like it's too hard yeah no it looks her hair looks more black like when you compare the two shades like it's a little bit hard to, to see but if you look up a picture of her you'll know exactly what I mean so I think I'm gonna go with black liner because I feel like, yeah, this one's too, too light, I think, so. Okay. So I'm just going to do a wing with some black liner. I'm just going to take my Anastasia liquid liner. Yeah, I think it's black, honestly. Like, holding the black up to the picture matches it better than any of the other browns, so. Okay, so I've done one wing now. I'm just gonna do the other one off camera and also put some lashes on and stuff and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look. So see you soon. Okay, so I have finished this look now and I have to say I really, actually really like this one. I really, actually, really like it. Anyway, this is a close-up of the eyes and how they turned out. The lashes I used were the Unicorn Cosmetics ones in Blaze. I just, I love this look. I think it looks so pretty. So once again, I'll just show you my reference picture. I feel like I kind of got the colours pretty well. I really do like this look. I think it looks so nice. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. really hope you're enjoying the series. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!